Welcome again to this hub identification class where we are looking at disease as a friend of our system and as a way that the body is communicating to us and the natural remedies growing in our localities, their common name, their botanical name and what they are effective in, in, uh, uh, in curing. And also it, uh, we are learning this so that we may know how to protect our bodies. For the Bible says that, know you know that your bodies is the temple of the Lord, which the Holy Ghost live in. And so we need not to defile it. Anything that makes it defiled is an abomination unto the Lord. We need not to be tuned unto things that make the body to, uh, to malfunction, like watching uh, the pornographies or watching action movies that star our system and develop anxiety in our system, watching soap operas that builds a life of anxiety and a life of utopia, and also uh, making us not to obey the laws of health. Uh, the loss of chastity. Now, uh, having that in mind, we are now going to, uh, to the presentation where we identify one of the nature hubs that we have around, and that is guavas. The botanical name is Cidium guava, and it is a gut healer. If you want a hub that heals the gut very fast, it is the guavas. It takes six days for your gut cells to regenerate. It takes 21 days for your skin cells to regenerate and develop. It, helps, it takes 30 days for your liver and your heart to regenerate. It takes 45 days for your kidney to regenerate. And it takes 120 days for your blood vessels, the red blood cells, to uh, reproduce again and regenerate themselves and it takes seven years for you to gain a new system completely so looking into this we are coming to guava and these are the 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 forests that we have and uh, you need to identify them we have the white guavas and the red guavas whichever you have you can still use them for this uh, for these medicinal properties uh, the medicinal properties of guava is that it is anti-diarrhea. Steep 10 tender leaves in a glass for 10 minutes, sieve and drink three times a day. Used for obesity. While guava is high in fiber, that is the guava fruit and even the leaves, and has a low glycemic index, making, making it a useful supplement for weight loss. Guava leaves and the extract can also help. They do this by inhibiting complex starches from converting into sugars. Typically, the sugar is metabolized by the liver where it gets turned into fat and then secreted into the blood. It cures diabetes. The high fiber content in guava can help manage diabetes by slowing down uh, sugar absorption in the blood. But sugar leaf extra can prevent type 2 diabetes from developing. So with diabetes, you know, that we have diabetes type 1, the diabetes type 2, and uh, the diabetes type 3. Diabetes type 1 is where the, the, the pancreas cannot produce insulin because of malfunction. And uh, type 2 is where the pancreas can produce insulin but cannot be assimilated into the blood because of the blockage within the arterial. Uh, within the receptors, insulin receptors, which, has, which is normally caused by the, uh, that is normally caused by the, um, by the cholesterol plugs. And uh, always someone who is on hypertensives because of high, high hypertension will later on go for the uh, glucophages or the drugs for sugar. That is the danger of uh, some of the hypertensives. So natural hypertensives are good because they don't create that, they don't block the better, blo the better uh, receptors for your sugar so that later on 
you may have a problem. And some causes to are having serious diuretic effect that later on it makes us to develop a kidney malfunction. So guava leaves is here for you. Uh, well, we said before that uh, guava is one of the uh, that plants have specific actions within the system. So if you use the uh, for, for diabetes, you use specific foods and need not to be sugary or high high high, high, um, high starchy foods. You need to eliminate them during the treatment procedure and take in foods that are neutral in taste, foods that are, are mainly in taste, and also uh, foods that helps to lower the blood sugar. And that will help you to eliminate the, uh, eliminate the, the, the high glucose in your system. Now, guavos will also help with the glycolysis process wherein the process of the body converting the starches into sugar is, uh, is actually maintained. And you no know, people with diabetes, uh, they have a problem in that uh, the reason why the sugars are high is because the pancreas was in a fluctuating high and low fluctuating uh, oscillatory mode. So sometimes the sugar is high, sometimes the sugar is low because of the foods you take in. More so high fatty diets, high sugary diets, uh, and also eating late at night, eating improperly, taking the, the beverages that are having high sugars. Did you know that um, uh, for every, uh, for every bottle of, uh, of, uh, of soda you take, you have about 12 uh, teaspoons of sugar, and that will help you your pancreas to be break, to break, to break down so what you have to do here is to make sure that you develop a system that will create a room for the pancreas to be restored uh, you need to know choose your foods well the way i'd say it taking a lot of vegetables that green leafy vegetables and citrus fruits uh, citrus fruits apples and uh, and amla uh, fruits like uh, thorn melon uh, fruits like kiwi uh, to help your system not to have a surge of sugar in it and then lowering the fat intake because fats are reconverted into sugar at a crisis and uh, they block the the arterial walls and also insulin receptors. You need to increase exercise when you're having diabetes, lots of exercise, drinking a lot of water. In fact, the, the, the best remedy when someone is undergoing a sugar, a high sugar crisis is to exercise. Uh, do a very quick exercise slash or go to the garden and dig and drink a lot of water. And then you can take herbs that help you in lowering the blood sugar, like the cloves, like the guava tea, like the, like the lemongrass, uh, the herbs like cinnamon, stinging nettle, dandelion, licorice root, alfalfa, and uh, golden seal um, are so helpful. The popo leaves are also helpful in, uh, in actually helping you in dealing with diabetes and something to note is that all the herbs that help with, glu with glucose control uh, uh, in the process of gly gly uh, glycolysis is also helpful in controlling uh, cancers. So as we identify most of these, now let's look at uh, uh, it reduces high cholesterol levels regularly taking guava leaf for month can help reduce LDL or bad cholesterol and triglycerides without any side effects. Powerful against gastric cancer, guava leaf extract is so potent that it can, it has the potential to treat patients with gastric stomach cancer. Its anti-cancer and anti-tumor properties come from compounds like lycopene, quercetine, and vitamin C, which work as antioxidant to neutralize free radical damage in the body. It fights prostate cancer, the guava leaves high in lycopene content is vital to fighting cancers such as breast, prostate, and oral. 
It is cancer fighting properties help inhibit the production of androgen, which is the male hormone responsible for the growth of cell in some types of prostate cancer. Now, when we talk about cancer, cancer is, uh, is a disease of the whole system. It means that the system has been weakened. Low potassium levels, low immunity, and uh, lack of vitamin B17. So what you need to do is to make sure that you boost your immune system by, by taking organic foods. High, uh, you can also take potassium broth. To make potassium broth, you have uh, like a cup of, of carrots, fresh carrots that are chopped, a cup of uh, Irish potato that are chopped, or sweet potato that are chopped, and uh, you have one bulb of garlic and one bulb of onion, and then you add parsley or celery, just a bunch of parsley or celery, and then a pinch of salt. Cook that until it is very, very soft. You simmer it under low heat, and you'll add about two cups of water there. And then when it is smooth, when it is, uh, it is just cooked well and soft, you'll have to blend it and then give the patient about a cup of it uh, about twice a day. It will increase potassium levels. Remember where potassium is. And potassium is high in the system and your kidney is also working well. You are able to, uh, uh, you are able to make the cancer cells or angiogenesis process of the cancer cells to be limited. For prostate cancer, the lycopene is a factor here where um, the, um, uh, when you do a test of your PSA test, uh, you will find that, uh, um, uh, you'll find that the, the PS test, if it is above, above, um, above four, you are in a crisis. You're almost developing a prostate inflammation or prostate cancer. The lycopene we get in guava, we get in, uh, in, um, in watermelon and also in uh, tomatoes is so helpful. And for you to increase it, more so in tomatoes, more so the cherry tomatoes, you have to cook it and then take it. Uh, take it, if you are able to take about four cups every day, morning, uh, before lunch, and in the evening, uh, it will be very helpful in boosting your lycopene. And this lowers your PSA levels and uh, helps your prostate glands to restore. With the prostate cancer, you need to be exercising. You will need to walk and walk and walk and drink a lot of water, eat a lot of dark green leafy vegetables, and eat foods that are increasing the estrogen levels to, pro to protect the process, uh, to stop the process of aromatase, where a lot of the testosterones are converted into estrogen uh, because of the foreign estrogen in your system. You have to uh, make sure that that process is stopped by taking a lot of soy, a lot of chickpeas, a lot of... Uh, of, of, of the of the beans that we have around and it will be able to help your system to balance on that. Take a lot of so palmetto. You can make a so palmetto extract to help build uh, the, the, the strong prostate. You can take palm seeds tea that is also good for the prostate. You take uh, lemongrass tea, very important for that. And uh, you have to do a massage on the lower back, fermentation on the back, do a hot foot bath, and always try, uh, try vegetables, a lot of vegetable salads, fruit salads, and your system will be able to regenerate itself. Um, take teas like green tea, teas like dandelion tea, teas like plantain tea, and uh, your system will be able to fight for itself. Now, it fights infection. Uh, this herb, the, the guava fights infection. If you have a flu or a cold, you have to take a guava, a tea. 
and reverses alopecia is the hair loss or baldness, baldness what you do make a strong concussion of the leaves you steep a pound of the leaves in four liters of water and then wash and drink also drink a cup and wash your hair with it and for some time you will begin to develop air have an anti-aging uh, anti effects and effective for colds and flus. That is what guava is for. And I believe that you are blessed. And next time, let's tune in to study more about the herbs that God has given unto us. Bye.